I'm thrilled to share some excellent news about Casper and the cryptocurrency market as a whole today. Coimple, a prominent cryptocurrency exchange and fintech company, recently made a major announcement about the launch of a pioneering crypto debit card. This card is designed to make it easier for people to use the new Casper currency. The purpose of this discussion is to examine how cryptocurrency and traditional fiat currencies can coexist. It is essential to note that the following analysis has nothing to do with a sponsored relationship. Rather, it was conducted in collaboration with Casper. I am not sponsored and will not receive funding in the future. CoinPal prioritizes the safety and security of its customers' cryptocurrency holdings by utilizing a dependable infrastructure. This discussion explains how currency conversion and transaction processing work when a cardholder makes a purchase using their PayPal debit card. Currency conversion occurs in real time. So if a user's Casper wallet contains Casper tokens, but they want to buy something with traditional fiat currency like USD or Euro, they can use the CoinPal debit card. This feature of the CoinPal debit card is significant because it is a significant step forward for Casper in the real world. Casper's peer-to-peer -peer payment method is easier to use now that it accepts debit cards. As we watch Casper and its various partnerships grow, it's clear that the platform has the potential to be used by a large number of people. However, it's important to consider the time factor involved in the complete development and implementation of new ideas like Casper. Some people may have questions or concerns about the current state of Casper. However, it's important to remember that projects of this nature must move slowly in order to reach their full potential. Furthermore, partnerships like the one established with CoinPal have a great deal of practical value and great potential for the future. Despite the possibility of consolidation or small fluctuations, now may be a good time for those who have been keeping an eye on Casper and waiting for the perfect moment to invest. Visionary thinking is important. And it's important to consider the long-term potential of things like cross-border transactions, daily use of cryptocurrencies, and the use of decentralized applications. These are the building blocks for getting a large number of people to use something. Casper appears to be moving in the right direction, and the launch of the Coimple's crypto debit card that works with Casper is a significant step forward for both Casper and the cryptocurrency market. This integration and utility bring us closer to the widespread adoption of cryptocurrencies. Now let's turn our attention to Ethereum F. It's important to note that Ethereum has been growing significantly not only in the last week, but also in the last few months. Ethereum is a decentralized blockchain platform that makes it easier to create and run smart contracts and decentralized apps. The Ethereum network has considerably altered our understanding and use of digital contracts, decentralized applications, and even methods of fundraising, such as initial coin offerings. The term thermicos refers to initial coin offerings, a method of raising capital. Ethereum has aroused widespread interest. As a result, these projects have had a significant impact on the growth and development of the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. Ethereum's core blockchain technology serves as a fundamental basis for a number of other blockchain technologies innovation in decentralized industries, such as smart contracts and smart contracts. Finance challenges the concept of non-fundable tokens that cannot be used to purchase goods. Particularly in the field of decentralized systems, identity identification in supply chain management is a common use of Ethereum. Finance is the study of how individuals, businesses, and governments expend and manage money. Ethereum smart contracts on the DeFi and DeFi platforms enable the provision of various financial services, such as lending, borrowing, and yield farming. The discussion focuses on decentralized markets and the development of synthetic assets. The rise of finance without a central bank in which individuals seek decentralized alternatives to traditional financial institutions, has made Ethereum significantly more significant and widespread. The characteristics of Ethereum have also aided non-funding cryptocurrencies. As BTC jumps 2% in 24 hours, NFTs become a popular Bitcoin price prediction. 
The recent 2% increase in the price of Bitcoin in just 24 hours has caused people to ponder what it could mean for buyers as the market continues to change. The question arises, does this rise indicate that now is a good time to consider purchasing Bitcoin? Michael Saylor's views on Bitcoin's future integration in a recent radio interview, MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor discussed the growing trend of large companies adopting Bitcoin and making it the center of their business. Saylor emphasized that third parties and businesses will always be a part of the Bitcoin ecosystem and that as Bitcoin becomes more prevalent in society, different ways to use it will emerge and a one-size-fits-all solution may not be possible. Saylor gave three main reasons why the Bitcoin space needs custodians, a technical one, a political one, and a technical one. According to the Saylor, it may be secure for certain individuals, such as the elderly or those who want to protect their posteriors. Bitcoin price prediction as BTC jumps 2% in 24 hours, time to buy? The recent 2% rise in the price of Bitcoin in just 24 hours has made people wonder what it might mean for buyers. As the market continues to change, the question arises, does this rise mean that now is a good time to think about buying Bitcoin? We should find out. Michael Saylor's thoughts on the future of Bitcoin integration. In a recent radio interview, Michael Saylor, CEO of MicroStrategy, talked about how he sees the growing trend of big companies adopting Bitcoin and making it the center of their business. Saylor stressed that third parties and businesses will always be a part of the Bitcoin ecosystem. He said that as Bitcoin becomes more common in society, different ways to use it will come up, and a one-size-fits-all solution may not work. Saylor gave three main reasons why the Bitcoin space needs custodians. A technical politics and it's only. Saylor agreed that, from a political point of view, some government structures might make it necessary to rely on third-party guardians. On the technical side, he understood that layer three third parties like Bank of America and Apple help make mobile crypto transfers work. Saylor also said that it might be safer for some people like the elderly or those who want to make sure their assets are safe for future generations, to give their possessions to someone else. Saylor thinks that Bitcoin will have different ways of integrating, and that the market will figure out the best mix of institutional and self-sovereign ways. He said that people shouldn't be afraid of the many ways to integrate, because the changing Bitcoin market will naturally determine the best mix of ways to integrate. Price of Bitcoin As of right now, the price of Bitcoin is $29,366. In the last 24 hours, 